Hi everyone, do you remember a couple of weeks ago when I made a wax copy of my finger and then put it in epoxy resin to see if it'd melt? Well as you just saw, it certainly did. And then we ended up making this really cool egg out of the blank. Now one thing I noticed in the comment section is that a lot of you guys asked that if I'd coated that finger in UV resin, would it have still melted? Now that got me thinking, could UV resin really stop the heat from reaching the wax? Well I've got some more wax and I've got some UV resin, so I say we give it a go. Now the first thing I need to do is make a copy of my finger. So I've got my Play-Doh, I've got my glass jar. Let's start melting some wax. I'm starting to get good at that. While I'm waiting for this wax to set, I'm going to start pouring the base layer. Now that the resin's all cured and the wax is all set, we can take it out and start coating it in UV resin. Originally I was going to take this bottle of UV resin and coat the finger, but I'm lucky enough to have this big container full. So I think what I might do is put a toothpick in the bottom here so that we can dip it in and out. I think that's turned out really cool, but I think I might give it another dip just to be safe.
So now that the finger's all stuck down, it's time to get our resin ready. But before I do that, I want you to pause this video and let me know your predictions. Do you think we're going to have it melt like the first one, or do you think it's going to stay intact? I've noticed lately that there's a few questions asking why I connect the hose to my pressure pot to release the air. Well when resin cures it can release some dangerous gases and all those gases are now trapped inside this pressure pot. Now the last thing I want to do is release the air into my workshop. So I connect this hose which is connected to an extractor fan to get rid of all the gases. I hope this worked, because I think coating items in UV resin could be really beneficial. Look at that! How cool does that look? Now we did get a bit of wax escaping on the side here. I think maybe I must have had a little pinhole or something or I didn't fully seal it. But apart from that, it looks amazing. Wow, it looks so good. Check out how the UV resin has created a little bubble around it. The wax has even captured a little bit of my fingerprint. Well, I've got to admit, I'm really impressed with how well this worked. Now, if you guys can think of anything else I can coat in UV resin, please let me know. And I'd also like to thank everyone who suggested this. It worked out really great. So I'm just editing this video right now, and I just noticed on pot cam that the wax actually did melt, except the UV resin acted as a mold, and when the wax set again, it just turned back into my finger. Now even though the wax melted, I still think this process has some good possibilities. Maybe I could make some wax figures, coat them in UV resin, and then melt the wax back out. That way I've got myself a mold. Now one last thing before I go, the dragon that I made on last Wednesday's episode using brass and resin now has a name, 
and I'll be revealing that name on next Wednesday's episode, so make sure you tune in for that one, because I think it's really cool. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.